Today on Political Access, we're going to do a tier ranking of all 50 states plus D.C. for how competitive they're going to be in the 2024 presidential election. So I've got tiers A, B, C, D, and F. Toss up, lean, likely, safe, and F tier is going to be very safe. There's going to be some debate on some of these. Some of them are going to be borderline, but I haven't done it yet. So let's go through this together. And the first state is going to be Alabama, and that is going to have to go in the F tier. It's very likely to be a 20% margin, so it goes in the F tier. Alaska, that's a tricky one. State is probably trended a little bit toward the left. I'm going to put that in the C tier. That could get under 10. It could be over 10. They have ranked choice voting. It's tough to predict. It could be low double digits. I'll put it in the C tier for now, but maybe you want to put it in the D tier. Next, Arizona. That, we're going to have to put it in the A tier. That's going to be super competitive. Could go either way. Next, Arkansas. That's going to be an F tier. No chance of competition there. Same with California. Solid blue state. Next, Colorado. That's going to go in the D tier. That's probably going to be over 10 points, but you never know. There's a chance it gets down under 10, but I don't think it's going to be much over 15 points. Next, Connecticut. That will put in the F tier. You could make a case it goes up to the D tier, but I'm going to put it in F. Same with Delaware. That's a similar state. It's borderline D and F. Under the right circumstances, it could get low double digits. Definitely not competitive, but it's not going to be as much of a landslide as Arkansas or California. And next, D.C., of course, that's going to go in F. If there was anything to put in F tier, it's going to be D.C. Next, we've got Florida. Here's a state where the Republicans had a ton of success in the midterms. Perfect for the C tier. Could easily be over a five-point margin, but it's not a guarantee. Maybe the Republicans collapse, and it gets under five. Next, we've got Georgia. This is a tough one. That's either going to be A or B. It sort of moved away from the Republicans. It went red in 16, blue in 20. We're going to have to split the difference, put it in A tier, until we see what the trends are. Next, Hawaii, that is going to go in the F tier. Idaho, that's also going to go in the F tier. Illinois, that I'm also going to put in the F tier. Under the right circumstances, it might go into the D tier and just be safe as opposed to very safe. Next, Indiana, that's sort of the inverse of Illinois. It could get to the D tier, but I think it's just a little bit too red. I'm actually going to leave it in the F tier. Iowa, that's the next state. That is going to be borderline C and D. I think that's going red almost under any circumstance. Will it get to 10 points? That's debatable. Just to be sure, we're going to put it in C. Next, we've got Kansas. That will put in the D tier. It's a safe red state, but it's not as extremely safe as it used to be. Next, Kentucky. On the other hand, that is very safe. Maine, we're going to put that in the C tier. The first district would, of course, be very safe blue. The second district, that would probably go in the B tier for lean Republican. Overall, we'll put it in the C tier. Next, we've got Louisiana. And another state that's pretty overwhelmingly red. We'll put it in F. Next is Maryland, and that's also going in F. No chance. That goes red, and no chance it gets under 10 points for the Democrat. Massachusetts is also going in the F tier. Very, very blue state. And next, we've got Michigan. And that's a state that's going to be the first state in the B tier. Say that has a tilt to lean toward the Democrats, but it's competitive. Republicans could pick it up. Minnesota, that's the next state. And we're going to put that in the C tier. It's pretty blue, but it's not as blue as some of these other states. Mississippi is the next state. That is not as red as Alabama. Maybe it gets down to the D tier, but I'm going to put it in the F tier. I think it's just a bit too red. Next, we've got... Missouri, and that is perfect for the D tier. No debate about that one. It's red, but not overwhelmingly so. Next, we've got Montana. And for president, this should go in the F tier. Really don't see it getting close to 10 points. I don't really even see it getting under 15. Maybe it does trend toward the left, so you might want to put it in the D tier. I'm going to put it in F. I just don't really see Montana being close to competitive. Next, we've got Nebraska, and that's also going to be a good state to put in the F tier. It's not the most safe state out there. Safe enough, I think, to get to the F. Next, we've got Nevada. That's going to go up top to the A tier. Probably has a little bit of a blue tilt to it, but both sides are going to be competing for Nevada. Next, we've got New Hampshire. That's going to go in the C tier. Democrats are favored to hold that. Next, we've got New Jersey, and this is a tough call. I'm going to put this in the D tier. It's borderline F. It's a pretty blue state. But I'd say just a little bit under some of these other states. 
Next, we've got New Mexico. And this is going to be borderline C and D. I'll put it in C because I could see that getting high single digits. Could even get mid single digits under the right circumstances. We'll put it in C. Next, New York. That's going to go in the F tier. That's solid blue state. North Carolina. That is going to go in the B tier along with Michigan. It's kind of the inverse of Michigan. It has a red tilt, maybe a lean to it. Next, North Dakota. That's going to go in F tier. Ohio. That's the next state. And that is going to go in the C tier. Republicans have solidified their grip on Ohio. It's not the reddest state out there. They have one Democrat for U.S. Senator. For President, I think it's very likely to go toward the Republicans, but it's not going to be overwhelming. Next, Oklahoma. That's very red state. F tier. Now we've got Oregon. That I'll put in the F also. I could see taking that down to D. It's a blue state, but not by 25 or 30 points. Next, we've got Pennsylvania. That state is going to go in the B tier. Similar to Michigan, has that blue tilt to it, but it's up for grabs. Republicans want to claim Pennsylvania. They're going to have to claim some of these if they want to win in 2024. Next, Rhode Island, another state we're going to put in the F tier. It's just a little bit too safe to get down to single digits. Next, we've got South Carolina. That's going to go in the D tier. Pretty red state, but probably not by a massive margin. There's a chance that gets down under 10, but it'll probably be low double digits. Next, South Dakota, that'll go in the F tier, along with Tennessee. Next state, Texas, that's going to go likely. Democrats really hope the trends go in their direction in Texas, but for right now, I think that's going to be over five points for the Republicans. Next, Utah, that's an overwhelmingly Republican state. They do like the establishment there, and that could affect the margin. But the Democrats, I really don't think they have any chance that's going in the F tier. Next, Vermont, that is also going in the F tier. Republicans have zero chance to pick up Vermont in 2024. Then the next state is Virginia, and that is going to go in the C tier. Probably high single digits. I know Republicans would love to get that down to mid single digits if they had Glenn Youngkin as the nominee. Then I think that would happen, and it would get down even to low single digits. But for right now, probably high single digits. It's not even impossible. It gets over 10 for the Democrats. Next, we've got Washington, and we're going to put that in the F tier. Like some of these other states, you could make a case. It gets down to the D tier, but I think all the past results have shown it's just too blue of a state to think that it could even be semi-competitive. West Virginia, that's going in the F tier. Wisconsin, that's going to go in the A tier. A very competitive state. And the last state is Wyoming. That's going to go in the F tier. And there's your tiers. Plenty of states in the F tier. Those are very safe likely to be 15 or 20 point margins the d tier those are off the table as well those are probably going to be around 10 point margins so all the other states c and up are at least going to be slightly competitive but it really is all going to come down to a and b tier those are the ones where everything is going to matter the national environment and of course whoever the nominee is that's going to play a role as well so this is kind of just a tier ranking for a generic democrat and republican certain candidates would probably affect some of these tiers so there's not really anything too shocking on here. It's really the same five to ten states that are truly competitive. As with every election, there's probably going to be a surprise or two where one state really defies the expectations and really overperforms or underperforms by one party. So let me know in the comments. Do you mostly agree with these tiers? Or would you change eight or nine of these states? Let me know down below. On your way out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I will see you on the next video.